Running out of filament mid-print is a thing of the past with the Anycubic Cobra S1 or Cobra 3 if you use the Ace Pro's filament backup feature properly. I recently reviewed the Anycubic Cobra S1 combo which came with the Ace Pro multi-filament system and one feature I was not able to test extensively was the filament backup feature. And today we are going to try out different scenarios using the Ace Pro's filament backup feature. Stay tuned. Printing filament comes in spools, usually with a net weight of 1 kilogram. Unlike your car's gas tank though, 3D printers have no way of telling just how much filament is left on your spool. In the early days of consumer 3D printing, you just had to make sure your spool still had enough filament for the object you planned on printing. But inevitably, there would come a time when you're going to be printing something that takes a lot of filament and you're not sure if there's enough filament on your spool. So you had to monitor your printer when it's about to run out, pause the print and change the filament. And if you fail to notice, then you're going to be printing a lot of invisible prints. Then came along filament runout sensors, which were usually upgrades you mounted somewhere on your printer's frame. This was a small device that just detected whether or not there was filament going through it. And if there's none, it sends a signal to the 3D printer to pause the print automatically and usually also emits some beeps so you know that you need to change the filament. Fast forward to today and we have the Anycubic Cobra S1 and the Ace Pro which has not one, not two, but three sensors that determine if filament is still feeding or not. It has a sensor in the Ace Pro, one in the filament hub and one in the print head. To enable filament backup, you go to the filament tab and enable filament backup. In my previous video, I thought this enabled a specific spool as a backup filament, but this is not the case, but rather enables the mode as a whole. My first attempt at using the filament backup feature was on an actual print when I noticed that my filament was almost out. The Ace Pro detected that the filament had run out, so the light on that slot turned off. The end of the filament eventually went past the filament hub, but the print completed while there was still filament remaining in the tube and the print head. On my second attempt, I cut a short length of filament about 0.8 meters to 1 meter long and fed it through the Ace Pro. Now remember there are only two motors that move the filament through all of the PTFE tubes. One is the Ace Pro that pulls the filament from the spool and pushes it towards the extruder, and the extruder which pulls the filament and onto the hot end. In this case, the filament was too short so after pushing it out of the Ace Pro, it could still detect it within the filament hub but it didn't reach the print head, resulting in a filament broken error. So on my third attempt, I first made sure that the Ace Pro fed the filament all the way to the print head. Only when the print head actually started did I cut the filament to simulate it running out. As before, the Ace Pro would run out first and then eventually the filament hub will also detect the filament run out. Okay, at this point, the filament is right here and it's about to run out. The only filament left is here and it's going into the extruder. So it detected the filament has run out and parked the print head. Afterwards, it heated up all the way to 260 degrees Celsius. Then it switched to the backup, which was the short piece of filament I used in my second attempt, so this resulted in a filament broken error again. Oddly, it still continued printing even though it didn't have any filament. On my fourth attempt, just like in my third attempt, I only cut the filament when it was already printing. You can see I have black PLA on my second slot, but on the Ace Pro, I had set it to white PLA so it thinks they are the same color and material. The last of the white filament is about to go to the extruder. And like on my third attempt, once the last bit of filament had run out from the hot end, it'll go up to 260C and start feeding with the second slot, which it thinks is white PLA as the backup filament. Once it's fed the other filament, it then goes back down to whatever nozzle temp you have it set to. As you can see, it has resumed printing, though with black filament that the AS Pro thought was white.
And there you have it. I hope this guide on using the Ace Pro's filament backup feature was useful to you, especially when you're printing a large print or just want a seamless printing from an almost empty spool to a new one. I was originally going to publish this exclusively to my Patreons, but I wanted this information to reach a lot more people. So if you appreciate that, I hope I can get your support even on the lowest tier on Patreon. But if not, that is absolutely okay. So that is going to be it for this short video. Please do consider subscribing and hit that button if you haven't already. On our next video, we'll be back covering some more drone and other tech stuff, so do stay tuned. As always, keep building and keep flying.